Hello guys, welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to escalate privilege in Linux system with a misconfigured NFS share. Okay, so if the root request is disabled in any NFS share directory, you can easily use you can easily just exploit that. Okay, let me show you how to with exploit NFS shares with root squares disabled. First, let me show you how I find out that the root squares is disabled in the share. I just cat ect exports for this file, and you can check out that in this last time directory, the root squares is disabled. So there is a line no root squares, which means that root squaring is disabled. So root squaring is a technique to this void privilege escalation on the client machine so without root squares an attacker can just generate suid binaries on the server that are executed as root on the attacker machine or other clients and even if the client user doesn't have super user privilege in that box if he had some super user rights on attacker machine he can just so in other words the root squaring means that even if our mount is mount or NFS directory being root on your Linux or Unix machine, you won't get the same super user right on the client. But in this case, the root scratching is disabled. So we kind of get the super user rights on the client machine. If we access that NFS share, okay, now let's mount this temp directory in our Kali machine. So First, we need to be root in our box. Okay, now I'm a root user in my attacking system. Okay, let's create a mount point. Okay, I'm going to mount this uh, slash temp in my uh, mount directory in, inside the temp in my machine okay to mount the nfs here you just need to use mount command mount then dash o r w so it will just freeze up the read write permissions so brs2 means it will just it will write the second version of mount then and the machine's ip in the mount folder temp and the location where in your kali so where you want to mount so it's in temp slash mount okay, let me check if the box got mounted or not okay Okay, we have successfully mounted the temp directory you can check here so both our Kali Linux and this vulnerable box contain same files we have just mounted this temp directory so now what we are going to do is we are just going to make a malicious script in our Kali machine and just save it in this um, mount directory and we will just access that malicious file from the vulnerable machines and if we execute that and then we should be able to get the root access okay, let's first create a malicious script i will just use msf venom to do that msf venom okay that's p for payload so we are going to use command execution payload for Linux 32 bit system and the payload is exec so we are using this Linux exec payload for 32 bit system so our execution command will be so we'll just run bin bash with preserved privilege okay so this is the command that we are going to execute with this on the payload so let's write the file format to elf okay then let's output it as malicious 
the TLF. Okay, let's wait for some time so that the same as venom can just create the payload. So what it does is it just execute this pin bash command with pre uh, preserved permissions. Okay, it created a malicious ELF. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to set our SUID permissions on this file. So that's just type CS mode plus XS malicious.elf. Okay, so we actually created a um, malicious file and we just set SUID permissions on this malicious.elf. So now what we are going to do is we are going to execute this malicious.elf in the vulnerable box and if you execute it the root permissions or root privilege are preserved in this malicious.elf so when you run this as a low privileged user we, will, we should be able to gain the root access okay here is our malicious.elf file in vulnerable box let's execute it okay now we got a root cell you can see here we are a root user so that's how you can use nfs shares with root scratching disabled to escalate the privilege so let me tell you once again what we did so we created this malicious file in our kali linux so where we mounted the nfs shared and we just copied that malicious file inside the shared folder then we provide the suid permissions to that malicious file so with the SUID permissions provided to that malicious file, we can just run that script and the SUID just preserve the current user privilege in that script. So the current user is root in my case. So it actually preserved root privilege in this malicious file. And when you run this malicious file in the vulnerable machines, we kind of got the root privilege. Okay, this much in this video. Hope to see you in next one. Okay, bye.